Hello, hello. How are you guys doing? Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Joel. How's it going? How's everything? Everything's going right. What about you? I see here that I'm, I'm ready to go partying tonight. <laughs> no, yes, just kidding. Not Friday uh, yet. Yeah, not Friday. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good opinion. <laughs> that's a good perspective. Yeah. Well, um, we should enjoy every single day as if we, as if as if is I don't know <laughs> Friday, <laughs> I think. Well, who else? So how was your day at work? How was everything there? All good? Uh, yeah, all good. It was a busy day as usual, working, doing stuff, and you know the usual thing. What about you? Mm, I um. I think I told you that I work at school. My that's my uh, daily routine. I work with uh, uh, teenagers and and also in the afternoons I'm working with kids, and I I am the PE teacher, uh, physical education as well. <laughs> that's really, that's oh, really it's really crazy, but I love doing that because I I always like work out and exercise even if I don't want to, which is really awesome. So I think I'm blessed to do that because uh, if I didn't have this chance, I wouldn't, you know, maybe um, work out. So as you can see, um, this person who like enjoys doing this type of activities. Thank you so much for asking. And uh, well, guys, and so you work in a call center, is that, is that right? Yes. Digitex? No. I'm sorry? What's the call center you work what for? You no. In Atento. Ah, oh, Atento. Okay. Yes. I can see. Great. Atento. Where is it located in Santa Elena? I don't remember. It's, it's, it's located in El Salvador del Mundo de la Roca. You know, the Torre Telefonica, the um, Centro Financiero. Oh, I see. Okay. The yeah. buildings together. Yeah. I know what that is. I worked in teleperformance for nine years, and so it's next to it. That is it's, crossing this great yeah. street right in front. Yep. These companies have grown a lot, right? I remember, you know, when like back in 2010, when I started working in those places, nothing to do with today's, if we compare. Well, thank you so much, Joel, for sharing about your daily, uh, you know, activities. Uh, how are you guys doing? What about the other ones? I can see more people connected. Thank you so much for connecting. Emma's here. Melissa's here. Uh, Francisco, Reina, Jeff are also connected. So how was your day? Everything good? How was university? How was business? <laughs> At home. Sorry? At home. <laughs> okay, hey, you're not asking me, but I heard a really bad word, Francisco. Yeah. Believe me, at, um, I heard the worst word. Uh, at, at home, at home, okay. All right, <laughs> so I think I'm going to listen to the recording after. <laughs> okay, so I can see, nice. Yeah, feeling at home or being at home is the greatest things that we can do. Like today I was driving back home. I had an accident, really. Like I had near an accident, very close accident. But then thanks God, nothing happened. It was just, you know, something that I could avoid. Uh, uh, thanks God. But then whenever you get home, it feels like cool, right? Being home, being at home. So thank you so much for sharing. Angie is here. Welcome, Angie. How are you doing? Hi, goodbye. Hi, really hope you are doing good. So thank you so much for connecting once again. We are going to continue. Today I'm expecting to finish um, another topic, which I think it's just a review for you guys. Yesterday we started talking about making a comparison and how to use simple past and past continuous. And there are some stories. That's why uh, we have been focusing on stories, these uh, past classes. And um, so yesterday we were given some anecdotes and I heard great stories, good ones. And we left one who didn't participate 
And I don't know if there is anyone who still wants to, because uh, I said that I was going to give some time, who wants to participate. And these are the ones I should, we suggested, the, these two ones. Anybody who would like to break the ice? There was one which we didn't do. Anybody, any volunteer? If you have it on your notebook, why don't you share it with us? If you, if you wrote it down, why don't you share it with us? If I were you, I would do it. Just to speak, to, to practice. Well. Yes, I made a little story about, about this. Mm -hmm. So it was my, fir my first trip abroad. When I turned 18, we went to Guatemala City. Um, my friends and I took a bus straight to Guatemala City. It took us about four or five hours getting there. I don't remember very well. Uh, we visited the Sul Aurora, where we saw all kinds of animals. Some of them were the first time I saw them, like the pengu penguins. They were uh, like kids, like little kids playing, jumping, out, jumping in and out of the water. And it was funny to see them. Uh, we had an amazing time there. Later, we visited a local market where we bought some pulseritas and they were very expensive, by the way, uh, but they were very cool also. And being there, I met some tourists from the USA, a blonde girl and her boyfriend, and they were kind and we spoke for a while. It was interesting because it was my first time talking to, to native English, you know, so it was funny. It was very interesting, an interesting trip. Also, we also I tried the national beer, the gallo. I didn't like it. It's too sore to me, but you know, it's it's okay for the for them, for what for the people in Guatemala. And then we returned to El Salvador the same day, uh, midnight. And that's it. It was an interesting. an interesting day for my for my 18, 18 uh, years, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I can see you were legal to ta to taste this beer. You said it's sour, yeah. <laughs> and I remember once I, I didn't like it. You didn't like it. Um, now it's very common. You go into any uh, super select and you find all this. I remember that uh, once being in those in the same place that you just mentioned, uh, somebody told me, "Why don't you uh, taste? Uh, there's a beer." Called um, cabro, <laughs> cabro. But then I said it sounds like weird. I said, uh, "What do you taste?" Um, cabro extra. That's the one. Then that's really strong, and I I don't recommend it. But maybe interesting. And that one. And now maybe you go. Now, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe yeah. nowadays I would like. Go to Super Selectos, <laughs> and then you're going to see. Okay. They, they have I'll cabros. I'm doing this coming Friday. They, they have a cabros, you know, all around. <laughs> and then get the cabro extra, and you'll see what happened. And I think it's uh, maybe the, um, the alcohol, like, uh, level is not that much. But I don't know, it's complexity or something. If the procedure they do to prepare it, I think it makes something, it makes a difference. But then, uh, so thank you so much for sharing that story. Uh, and let me tell you, Hoyle, that your English is really structured. Your English sounds really organized. Interesting, okay. interesting. I like it. Like I can easily follow your ideas and I can see everybody would do the same because they're really structured and it, it follows a, a pattern, which you know is really cool. So thank you so much for sharing. Anybody else, guys, one more? maybe one or two more what did you write no all right you know i had this one I didn't do this one i think this one the last one and this is a lot but then i think i want i really want to work on the next topic which is past perfect but uh but i also want to hear some of you speaking english i haven't heard most of you so what about if you try improvising, but uh, make this uh, as, as if it is a story, 
not as a question answer. It's about a movie, okay? So who wants to try it out? Think about a movie you have seen recently, and then where do you see the movie, theater, home, when, why, what, who, and so on. Anybody? Let me tell you something. Maybe you're not interested in this, but uh, when I was hired to work, I think I, let me tell you a story. Like maybe this is an anecdote. Um, on January this year, I, cause I'm teaching also call center and I, I applied in a call center not to work because I don't, as of now, I, I don't have time to work in, in any other place. But then I applied to three call centers because I just wanted to, you know, pass the, the, the hiring process because I wanted to get the info they, they have, the process, the hiring process. Um, and uh, I did it in Sykes, I did it uh, in Talus and also in TOG. And I did it like online because I wanted to get the information, right? Uh, so I can teach it. <laughs> And the thing is this, that one of the questions they asked me was this, can you tell us about the last movie you saw? But they want to hear a lot of like speaking. So this information, you know, uh, is part of what I heard. It's part of what I was asked on these questions. So that's why I would love to hear maybe one of you speaking and try to expand as much as you can on these questions, following this structure. Maybe one or two, or maybe nobody, but then this is, um, I have 10. So I have Reina, Melissa, Jeff, Gustavo, Francisco, Evelyn, Emma, Angie, anybody? You, you have um, come really quiet. I have um, a quiet class. Okay. All right. So if I don't have anybody, maybe just screenshot these questions. Whenever you feel like doing it, write it down. Okay. Once you write it down, practice it. Okay. Practice it and try to listen to yourself when you're speaking in the past because it's really important for you to speak, uh, like applying the ED sounds, and uh, if it is possible, past continuous, and all this, because uh, most of the time, we as non-native speaker, we tend to fail on the, on the past ending, or ending, ending sounds, or final sounds in, in words. All right, so let's get started with today's topic. Uh, okay, so let's see. On the chat, I want you to please send me one idea about what uh, the past perfect is. What do you think this is, past perfect? And send me one example or maybe send me a description of what you think this is. Please, I'm gonna give you two minutes. All right, let's see who has. Okay, Emma, thank you so much for your um, ideas. Is something 
because you were doing for some time, but you finished to do it. Hmm, okay. It, it makes sense. And what else can we say? Have you seen the videos on the platform? Any idea you might get from these videos? Was past perfect, or is it? Um, I think we we saw this topic. Yeah, we saw it in previous course. But then, um, I want to start by saying the following because I don't see. I just I only see Emma's uh, message on the chat, and it was sent directly to me. So let's do something. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, give you some uh, some input. Hopefully, it's gonna help a little bit. So let's think about um, one specific time. Let's say uh, today, like let's say by noon, let's say. Okay, so today, today is what? It's uh, 16, March 16. Uh, by noon, and then now let's think about all activities that took place before noon, okay? So let's make a list of those activities, um, like in the ones you did before noon, before lunch time, okay? Before, uh, okay, by lunch time, let's give lunch time. And then uh, give me all those activities you had, you, you had done or you did before lunch time. What can you tell me about? Maybe uh, type all of them, make a list of five activities or more, or what you did. You can share them with me on the chat, or you can open your mic and say, uh, like in the past form, I did this, 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 and that. All activities. I'll give you um, two minutes. Think about all the activities you did in the past. In simple past. Simple past, yes, simple past. Oh, as of now, I want you to brainstorm ideas you did, uh, let's say, before uh, noon. All activities in simple past. For example, I what in my case, I taught, I taught, I taught English, uh, I taught English to seven graders. Yeah, I thought it was, yeah. Before noon, right? Simple pass. What else? Oh, I talked to my principal principal about um uh, what national uh, uh, tournament let's say yeah okay by noon I left to work, I went to a gym uh, where I spend the afternoon with my friends working out. Okay, muy bien, muy bien, Joel, thank you so much. Let's see, why am I saying all these activities in simple pass? Okay, I still want to give like one more minute because I see only one participation on the chat. Maybe this is very, very easy. And you don't want to participate. Hmm. Is it like that? Okay, I'm gonna, uh, or is it confusing? I just want you to list, list, list the activities. One, two, three, four, five. Pass, pass, um, simple past. 
That's it. Emma, yes. Okay, well, I woke up at seven at six a.m. and I cleaned my room. And after that, I cleaned my house. I had a class had a class at eight. Yes, eight a.m. And after that, I did my homework up to university until 11 a.m. Because after that, I had another class. Thank you so much. Very good, Emma. Now, uh, I'm going to take this reference. I have some of you who already shared, uh, well, I think it was Melissa and then Emma. Now, all those activities, we can we, we can say are our are past activities, right? Past activities. Past activities. Okay. They are past activities, right? And now um what time is what time is it now, guys? What time is it now? Is what is eight. Let's point let's have this reference. Is eight twenty. Let's say age 20, 22. Okay. This is our present at this moment. Our present. Present. Okay. Present. Okay. This is our present at this moment. Okay. And then uh, the past perfect is all those activities that happen prior to my simple past. And my simple past is this reference. Let me write it right here. Write it right here. This is gonna be, let me move this up. This is lunchtime by, by noon. So this is my simple past as of now. So when I write by noon here, this is my simple past, all the activities that you just mentioned become my past perfect. How come? And that's the, that's the question. And I want to illustrate one example, past perfect. <clears throat> so now Emma mentioned many perfect, many activities. So if I want to have one reference, which is noon, which is already my simple past because as of now it's 8.22. So, but my lunch time of today is already my past, okay? But then everything that happened prior or before my lunch time becomes my past perfect. So how do I provide an example? I, I think uh, Emma says something about cleaning the house and doing homework. I can say, by noon, I had done my home homework. Emma, I had also cleaned my house. As you can see, the activities that Emma just provided are now my past perfect. So in simple words, past perfect is all activities that happened before my simple past, okay? So this is what I can tell you. Now, now that you have listed your um, examples or your sentences in simple past, if you add a future, Let's say um, reference, which is, is still in our past in reference to this time. It can be yesterday, in the morning, today, last week. All those is going to be our past perfect. Anybody who wants to try. I can see Melissa says I went to practice basketball with my friends yesterday. Okay. And that, now let's think about an activity that happened after this activity, Melissa. And this one that you just shared is going to become our past perfect. Like the one Angie said, I woke up at 6 a.m. after I dressed to work and I worked all morning. So if I give you my reference by noon, the activities you just mentioned, Angie, will become your 
past perfect, okay? Now, anybody who wants to try providing me or creating these um, uh, sentences in past perfect, I, when I explain this topic, I, I sometimes like translating when it's not understood, but I want to see how much you have understood in case you, you have doubts about this topic or what it means in Spanish. But if you if we're clear, I don't think I need to speak Spanish, but I want to give you some time for you to ask questions, raise your hand or provide your examples, okay? So I'm gonna shut myself and then I want to listen. Mm -hmm. Give me some more information, Melissa. I had gone to practice basketball with my friends, okay? At uh, what time? What's your reference? Because most of the time, we use this one in reference to simple past. That's how you combine them. My boss had gone out when I arrived to the office. I like this one. You're combining simple past. Joel, do you have any questions? No, I have one sentence. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, by noon, I had eaten my lunch. Moreover, I had finished this book that I've been reading for one week in my free times at work, and I had done my shift too, and I was ready to leave. Thank you so much. Man, your, aim, your English is very academic. I like it. Okay. Uh, you, you remind me about one of my teachers. And, uh, Okay, um, so thank you so much. I had drank soda yesterday at... Hmm. Hmm, I, I had drank soda yesterday. And what is the other activity? What is your point of reference? Is it at four? I had drank soda yesterday. Do you, you want to say by instead of saying at? Because at is like first past activities which are end, which which are complete completed already. Say I had drank soda yesterday. I had drank by four. So that means that that's uh, your past activity. Okay, I want to read more examples from you guys, but I'm gonna share the ones uh, presented on the video as well. And I have some other exercise for you to practice with me. Okay, so this is what we have. And uh, we use past perfect for an event that occurred before, uh, before an event or time in the past. So that's, that's it. Simple as that. If we analyze these green letters, this is exactly the explanation. My, okay, my, this is by, by noon I have. No, Evelyn, I need to say no to this one because by noon I had, what is the structure of past perfect? That's another question. The structure of past perfect, I know some of you guys already know this. Maybe Evelyn is a new topic for her. No problem. We are going to go over you know, on this for you. Past perfect, Evelyn, and the ones who don't know, requires the had plus the past participle, okay? Take a look at these examples. Had put, had stolen, had forgotten. Had put, had stolen, and had forgotten. We have these uh, three examples. The formula is had plus past participle. If we have this structure, that means that this is our past perfect, which tells us that this activity happened prior to another activity in the past. Simple as that. We have this timeline here. This is our, this uh, right here is already past, but then all activities that happen prior to the past, it becomes our past perfect. Um, Evelyn, do me a favor. Can you read what we have here? Past event and past perfect. The first one that I have here, only read it. This one. I was working out and I had put my stuff in my locker. Mm -hmm. I was working out and I had put my stuff in my locker, okay? So that means that you first put your stuff on your locker and then you went to work out. If you go to the gym, that's the first thing you do. 
you put your stuff on the on the locker and then you go and start working out, right? All right, and what about the next one? Angie, do me a favor, read the next one. When I came back. When I came back, someone had stolen my wallet. Awesome. So that means came back is, is in the past. It's an event in the past, simple past. At that point, it occurred another activity prior to, uh, to my past, and that is the past, perfect. When I came back, someone has stolen my wallet. That means that, that the wallet was already lost or stolen when you uh, arrived or when you return. Okay, and the last one I need to listen to, let's see, um, hmm, Evelyn, no, Melissa, Melissa, please. They were able Melissa. Francisco, help me please. Only read this ones. Okay. They were able to steal it because I have forgot the lock to lock the locker. Mm -hmm. Forgotten. For, you can say forgotten or forgotten. I like forgotten. Sounds, sounds yeah. fancier, I think, and more natural. So they were able to steal. They were able to steal it because I had forgotten to lock the locker. So in the same line, right? Same, uh, same meaning. Activity prior to my simple past becomes my past perfect. Let's continue to practice. I have some other examples and I really want you to participate. If you feel this is very easy, uh, well, I still want you to create your own sentences and as uh, Joel just did, add more ideas. He, he even used a linking word to connect it. So that's awesome. Like adding more over, you know, sounds really cool. So that's the challenge. I know we, we can learn a lot. So these are the examples on, from the video I brought in for you guys. Simple pass, I didn't have in, in any money because what happened, I have forgotten my wallet at home. This is pass, okay? But then this happened before I realized I didn't have money, okay? I went to a party last weekend, but when I get home, my friends had eaten all the food. Okay, so simple pass and pass perfect. So that means that this little poor little person or guy didn't eat because when he or she arrived, there were no food. There wasn't any food for him or her. Okay, now with this same structure, please, I want you to send me one example of each. One simple pass negative plus its complement in past perfect, one affirmative, simple past, and its complement on your own ideas. I will give you, uh, well, let's see, maybe three or four minutes. One example of each, think about it, please. All right, I think I have some examples here. Oh, Angie has sent one at, by, at, mm, at noon, it's by noon, Angie, by noon, I had made the lunch to my family. 
Uh -huh. That means that you prepare, you cook before this, this time. When my friends arrived, I had already started, started cooking. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. My friends and I didn't eat any food because we had run out of money. Okay. Run out of, out of money. This is informal one out of money. Good. I like it, so I didn't eat any food. Why? Because no money, no honey, right? And then the past participle of this verb is, is uh, R-U-N, okay? It's run, 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 run again. Um, okay. So, anybody else? Only two examples as of now. Let's see, only Gustavo and Joel. And how many are connected? 10. So, I'm going to wait two more minutes. When I see your examples, come on. You can also open your mic, please. By the way, guys, um, I think somebody from this group texted me because he or she had questions about the platform. If that's the case, please uh, stop me at any point and ask, please. Because I said yesterday that I was gonna give some time for you to share with me any doubt from the platform and we can talk about it. Um, most of the time, if you text me during the day, I might not be able to answer being really honest with you. Right? Um, because I work with uh, many groups I have um, the school and other courses, and plus you like maybe 10 groups or, or, or more. I got many groups. Um, so, but there was one from this class. I don't remember who sent me a screenshot. I saw it, but I didn't reply. But if you have uh, the question, please do it like now. Yesterday was raining, right? I can see Melissa texted that uh, it's raining. I wish it, I wish it uh, rained here as well, where I'm, where I am. It's really hot. So, do you have any question? Any question? No questions. This group is really good. <laughs> okay. So, no questions. If you have any, please let's talk about it like now, please. We're working on, on section number four. I sang an eminent song today, but my coworker has. Hmm. Um, because of the of the connector, but is that uh, that you feel as if it doesn't make sense. I'm gonna say the same thing to you. Maybe I have said this already. That if you don't feel like uh, it's good, it might not it might not make sense. And that what is happening here. I sang an eminent song today, but my coworker didn't enjoy it as much as I did, as much as me. Mm -hmm. because what happened is that we are talking about two activities that uh, that uh, are in the past and they are completed and if you if you uh, think about it like you sang the song and the if your co-workers enjoy it that didn't happen before uh, it happened at the same time maybe so two activities happening at the same time. While you were singing, they were listening. So that's why you and I feel as if it doesn't make sense. The structure, well, it's okay because the structure follows everything, right? But then the meaning, I had sung and didn't, I didn't. I had sung, huh? I'm still trying to picture. 
let's see in Spanish what would you like to say here Joel maybe and I want to add this one sometimes um sometimes we don't we don't um they I had some and they didn't enjoy it sometimes and this is very very um because when we study translation we sometimes want to say stuff in English as we uh maybe we we'll say that in Spanish but then we get to know that uh, it's not all the time the same. We sometimes need to communicate ideas in a different tense. That's why I'm asking you if uh, this is, what's the main idea or what is the intention in present? Maybe that would help a little bit because the structure once again, well, it's okay. But then I still feel as something is wrong here. Okay, um, no worries teacher, I'm just, uh trying to so never mind continue please <laughs> never mind i i i do i i, I do mind <laughs> and uh but thank you so much for your for your for your uh you know position but then um sorry. maybe if we have more more context more details, it would make sense. If we have more context in how it, this is used, yeah. Because the structure is totally okay. Anybody else, come on. Uh, if you don't participate here, I don't think you're gonna do the next activity. Next activity is a lot of exercises. Okay, then I'm gonna give you some time. Let's work on that then. Let's see, uh, we have plenty of time, like 15 minutes. Sure. Yes? Uh if there are other sentences on chat. Other sentences. Yes. Ah, oh, Jeffer, yeah. Today at noon, by noon, let's say, I fell asleep because I have read a lot during the morning. Yes, that makes sense. But it's today, uh, you say by noon today, I, I fell asleep because I had read a lot during the morning, yes? That one makes sense. That one makes a lot of sense. I would just change today by noon or by noon today. Or if you say by noon, if we are still talking like today, like the day hasn't finished, it makes sense without saying today. So by noon, today, like maybe an optional, and then we finish it. Okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. All right. So, guys, here is what I was talking about. Let's work on this. Come on. 10 exercises. And these are just yes, no questions. This time, I care a lot about the structure. Okay. So, I want you to use this subject and verb and use it with Past perfect, that's it. How can we have the first one? You have gone. <laughs> All right, thank you. Say it, please. Uh, Emma, do you agree have with- you, you know it. It's, it's a question, so is had you gone there before we went to the Oh, together? yes, it's a question. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you're right. And thank you for noticing too. I think it was Gustavo, right? Yeah, so it's a question. Therefore, Emma is right and Gustavo just noticed as well. So it's a question and we start with had. I didn't see the question mark. I know, I know that happened. I know you know this already. Had you, and then what's the next one? Had you gone, gone. This is the past participle. Had you gone there before we went together? Okay, great. And what about the next one? Anybody, any volunteer? Francisco, first time that I see um, you, Francisco. 
I wanna I wanna stop sharing the screen. Let me see. Francisco is there. With the camera on. Awesome. That's the attitude. Yeah, really the <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I see what I have done. Be meeting. Okay. When he's afforded me. Bye bye. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, okay, Francisco, go ahead. Uh, okay. Number two. Yeah, I'm going to roll the first pool. Number two. What is it? Has, has she seen the film, the film already? Say it again, please. Um, has she seen the film already? Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. Is another question. Has she seen? Good. Number three, let's see. Uh, let me see who. Uh, Reina, would you like to try with number three? Number three, what is it? We need to hurry up. I have some other examples, sentences. Angie, help me please. Don't leave. We haven't finished. Okay, there she is. Angie, number, number three. Number four? Three. Three? Yep. Um, um, why? Why? He forgot about the meeting. Kind I don't know. of, really close. Um, hmm. Let's see, Daniel, Ricardo, would you like to try with number three? Number three. Mm. Eh, siempre present, pasado, 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 perfecto. Yeah, yes. Yes. Okay, why he had forgotten about the meeting? Uh, you are like 95%, you know, um, let's see, accurate. You still something, there is a tiny change, Daniel, that we need to make. Can you say it one more time, please? I don't know, teacher. Why he? Por qué él ha olvidado la reunión, va? That is. He has. That is that is present perfect. We don't use you. You said it correctly. The thing is that this is a question. That's that's my point. It's a question. If it is yes. a question. That's the only thing that we need to make. Mm -hmm. Why does why why does he have forgetting about the meeting? Mm -hmm. Daniel, it, the does is used for present for simple present. Ah, uh, why 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 did did is for simple past and this is past perfect. I don't know, teacher. <laughs> you said it. Come on. You said it already. Ya lo well, dijo. Yeah. Pero lo dijo, pero lo dijo como en forma de oración. And this is a question. Uh, okay. Uh, why he had forgetting about the meeting? That, <laughs> I <laughs> like it. Know. I like ah, it, but... Like <laughs> no, me gusta porque lo hice en forma de pregunta. Pero la, 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 este, la estructura me, me la está haciendo mal. La puchica. It's not, I know, y fíjense que es interesante, it's really interesting. Because, um, y yo sé que, when we study intonation, sabemos de que, de que podemos hacer preguntas con la entonación. Por ejemplo, um, si yo digo, uh, you are, algo sencillo, you are a student. Una, this is a, a statement. Pero si yo digo, you are a student, usted me va a decir, yes, I am. Teacher, teacher, Entonces, teacher. Go ahead, please, yes. Had es el auxiliar, ¿verdad? Exactly, my friend. Sería, why had 
he forgetting about the meeting? Exactly, very good. Solo que diga forgotten, porque es el pasado. Esa es la ah, respuesta. Okay. Why? Okay. Exactly, as you can see, the auxiliary verb is had. Aquí no necesitamos did, aquí did que se vaya por donde no ha venido. Aquí did, we don't need did, we don't need did, we don't need does. No necesitamos nada de eso, necesitamos nada más el auxiliar had. That's all we need. Okay, so why had he forgotten about the meeting? Y recordemos, the had, había, eso significa había. Why had he forgotten about the meeting? ¿Por qué había olvidado? Había. Okay. So in other words, uh, I want to say this uh, to make things clear. Had plus, had plus, y creo que algunos ya saben, plus participle. In this case, had means había. That's it. I had forgotten, había olvidado. Forgotten something, forgotten. I have forgotten it. I have forgotten it. Lo había olvidado. Okay. Had is había. Don't forget that. Okay. And had is our, our um, auxiliary verb. Let's move on. We don't have much time. Okay. Any other volunteer, please help me resolve all these exercises. How about number four? Anybody? Open your mic and let's finish this. I don't want to accumulate this. Anybody? Me, teacher. Yes, Joel. Thank you. Go ahead. Number four, it said, had it been called all the week? Nice. Thank you so much. Number five, next one. Reina, please don't leave. Thank you, Emma. Go ahead. Thank you. Had I read the book before the class? Awesome. Thank you so much. Next one, Evelyn, please. When she arrived, we eaten already? Something is missing, Evelyn. Algo le falta. Something is missing. We have, we have eaten already. Mm, something is still missing. What is what is it missing? A very tiny change in the structure. It, it is a question. So what do we say? Had we eaten already? Awesome. Very good. Number seven. Number seven. Jeffrey, try it out, please. Where? How you been when I saw you? Awesome, good. Number eight, uh, I don't know, I think, Gustavo, I haven't heard anything from you, Gustavo. Number Hello? Yes. You hear me? Yeah, Gustavo, clearly enough. So oh, okay. number number eight. Uh, uh, you didn't listen? <laughs> no, I didn't. Okay. Uh, uh, had they traveled by bullet train before? Okay, I like it. I think it doesn't exist that in Salvador, right? Bullet train. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, what about number nine? Let's see who wants to help me out. Maybe Francisco, number nine. Number nine. Nine. Okay. Um, the past perfect about net. I don't know what it is. That's why I need to work on these exercises, Francisco. Come on, <laughs> try to remember what um, is the past participle of meet. Uh, I think met. <laughs> Can you say it, please? Okay. Um, 
Okay. Had had John met Lucy before they went on holiday together? Thank you. Very good. And the last one. Let's see. Um, maybe who else? Let's see who hasn't. Uh, Emma, finish it, please. Have you done your homework before I saw you? Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. We only have four minutes. And I'm going to share the next screen, but only for you to screenshot. And please, tomorrow during your day, uh, go over it and try to have your answers complete uh, for, for, no, for the class. Tomorrow is Thursday, and I'm going to start with this activity. So this one, only a screenshot and have it ready for, I think, from number 11, because number 10 is already done. From number 11 until 20, 10 more, this one's, okay? Complete it. If you want to write it down, do it. And, um, and we share tomorrow. I will leave the screen as it is for one second for you to take a picture. Save it. Okay, well, so that's uh, basically the structure for today's guys. Anybody or any question that you might have in regards of this topic? Any, anybody? Questions guys, before we finish, we, we have um, one minute or so. Anybody? Jeffer, are we okay? Francisco? Yes, Emma? I'm okay teacher. Emma? Everything is well, good. Everything's gonna be all right. I yeah, like so far. Right. Okay. Good song. Yeah, so far so good. Everything's gonna be a uh, I. Okay. <laughs> all right. So then thank you so much for connecting, guys. Have a good one. See you tomorrow. It just started raining here, so I'm gonna have a great night. Hope you guys too. Bye bye. Uh, see you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.